looking for something fun to do this weekend, well, how about a movie? Ad Astra is Latin for To the Stars. It's also the title of a new movie starring one of Hollywood's biggest stars. David Daniel has a preview. What can you tell us about the Lima Project? First manned expedition to the outer solar system, sir. Some 29 years ago. And the commander was? It was my father, sir. Brad Pitt is an astronaut trying to track down his long-lost and long-assumed dead father in Ad Astra. This might come as quite a shock to you. Your father was experimenting with a highly classified material that could threaten our entire solar system. All life would be destroyed. We're counting on you to find out what's happening out there. His mission will take him from Earth to the moon. Alpha, we need backup ASAP. We're being ambushed. To Mars and beyond. But the answers he's seeking may not be the ones he finds. Exploration isn't always a noble venture. We have to hold out the possibility that your father may be hiding from us. And if he does reach his father, played by Tommy Lee Jones, can he live with what he learns? The world awaits our discovery, my son. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Not in the mood for a movie? Don't worry, we have some exciting events to tell you about if you're still looking for something to do. That's right. If you're headed West River this weekend, here's a perfect event for the entire family. Museum Day is an annual celebration hosted by Smithsonian Magazine with participating museums across the country, including right here in Kelloland. This Saturday, enjoy free admission with a Museum Day ticket, download the Deadwood Histories Adams Museum, Days of 76 Museum, and Historic Adams House in Deadwood. You can learn about these museums and the exciting things they have to offer by visiting deadwoodhistory.com. There's a lot of history in there. I love history. I am like, that's my... History's kind of my yeah. name. Outside of crocheting. Outside right. of crocheting, it's history. Yeah. Well, interesting. Was that your favorite subject in school then? Well, no. French. French, yeah. Or playing the violin. I can't even yeah. decide, but I do love history. I'm really bad, actually, at reading anything fiction. I want to do all nonfiction, and yeah. history is kind of my thing. So I, I should check that out, but it might be a little far for me to get out right. there. Yeah. yeah. Downtown Spearfish is embracing fall this Saturday with their annual Autumn Fest. Food and craft vendors will fill the street while retail businesses take to the sidewalks for great end of the summer deals. Take in the Apple Pie Baking Contest, Vintage Apple Press, and the Antique Car Show, along with the vendors, sidewalk sales, and baked goods contests. This is also a great opportunity to check out local entertainment from the Black Hills. To get all of the details on this weekend's event, you can follow Downtown Spearfish on Facebook. Oh my goodness, Apple Crisp. I know this is apple pie, but that just made me think of apple crisp, and it's my favorite. It's time for apples. I love apple crisp. And it's like my favorite. Spearfish is the most beautiful place to be in mm -hmm. the fall. We should probably really for sure go check yeah. that out. Maybe we should take Kayla there for her birthday weekend. This just isn't the same that. without Kayla here right now. I know, it isn't. Well, feeling hungry? Then you'll want to head to Watertown this weekend for the 25th annual Watertown Radio Chili Cook-Off at Bramble Park Zoo. There will be more than 20 recipes to of chili to taste and if you enjoy cooking you can enter your own team and invite all of your friends. To find out more information and to register your team visit BrambleParkZoo.com. Zoo admission is four dollars and tasting wristbands are three dollars per person. The tasting goes from 1 p.m. to 3 or until it runs out. I make some good turkey chili. I brought it on the show. Yeah. All right. Well I'll taste. Maybe I'll make it this year again and you can try it. Lewis and Clark Recreation Area in Yankton is also celebrating fall this weekend. Join them this Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for a day filled with music, obstacle courses, and even enjoy a hay ride to the campground. There will also be Dutch oven samples, crafts, and games for the entire family. This is a free event, but a park license is required to attend. If you would like more details on fall in the park or to learn about other upcoming events, you can follow Lewis and Clark Recreation Area on Facebook. Yeah, I got to visit that, and it's very nice. You did. Very that, park, yeah. It did look beautiful, and I mm -hmm. love all fall things. So yeah. yeah, fall is the best season. Well, want to support furry friends in Kellyanne this weekend? The Sioux Falls Area Humane Society is rolling out a brand new fundraiser this Saturday called the Fur Bowl at Eastway Bowl. This first time bowling fundraiser will be to raise funds for the animals in need in Kelloland. Every dollar raised helps provide care, medical treatment, and comfort to local animals. Plus, the first person to bowl a perfect game will receive a $200 cash prize. 
You have until Friday night to register, and there are two sessions to choose from, one at noon and one at 3 p.m. You can register online at SF. HumaneSociety.com slash furball. That sounds fun. That sounds like you're... I'm not the greatest bowler, though. Yeah. Bronze Age Art Casting is celebrating fall this Saturday with a fiery outdoor iron pour. Drop by their location anytime with friends, family, and lawn chairs. Molten iron starts flowing in the evening and ends with performance pours as night falls. Learn about the iron casting process that evening or participate in a workshop before the event and make something for yourself. A food truck will be on site. For workshop details, you can visit bronzeagefsd.com. Sounds like a that good time. That sounds fun. Yeah. Well, our friends at the Good Night Theater Collective are kicking their season off tonight and tomorrow night with a September cabaret. It's called the Big Band Cabaret and will feature standards from the brassiest broads and the slickest swingers of the jazz age and beyond. The shows are held at the Icon Lounge in downtown Sioux Falls. You can get your tickets by visiting www.goodnighttheater.com or at the door. I know That's exciting. Kayla wants to check that out. Yeah, I think. kicking yeah. off the season. Yeah, I have not yet been to one of their performances yet, but I've heard very good things, and we've had them on the show before to get a little taste, but. Yeah. Well, I'm going to definitely head out to Sanford International yes, this weekend. Yes, I was going to say that's right. obviously yep, something that's going to be something to do, but mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Um, I have not decided yet if I'm going to go home or if I'm going to stay in town, but if I do, I definitely want to check out the Sanford International. I'm really excited for the ice cream. I got it last year, too, and it's just, it's so good. It's that lemon blueberry. Yeah, yeah. the special, yes, mm -hmm. the Stenson Farms, right? Yeah. But it's fun to go out and see everyone out there and all the golfers, so it's, it's a fun event to be a part of. Well, it's my son's second birthday tomorrow, so I'm oh, going to be celebrating that too. Yeah, exciting. See, 